I'm going to rely heavily on Caroline Sweet and Betsy Birdshaw. Um, you know, we met with them after the spring and told them that they were going to become the leaders of the team. Felt like with something we've kind of lacked last year, uh, a strong leadership uh, amongst the players on the team. So, you know, we've done everything we can to tell those two, okay, this is your team, you're going to set the example, and you're going to be, you know, a large part of, our, of this team having success next year. Re-establishing uh, that our players and team take ownership in our program. Uh, we are a family here, and you're always going to be a part of. As I tell the players, you're always going to be a part of our golf program. You're always going to be identified with. So it's re-establishing that commitment and ownership in what we're doing every day of practice, and and re-establishing that competitive spirit uh, that brought us success the previous you know two three years. We need to re-establish that uh, you know that that kind of attitude day in and day out and when we had the tournaments and if we can do that uh, we're going to have better success this year. It was definitely a, a fall off from the previous few seasons when we had success when we won I believe four events in those two previous years so um, you know when you enjoy success and then you then you kind of don't have success, uh, I think it reinvigorates you and rededicates you to getting back to what you need to do to be successful. Um, and again, that's what we're as coaches we're going to be doing, and that's what we need to instill in the players this year. Well, senior class Caroline Sweet. Um, she is, a, she, my nickname for her is the champ. Uh, she's a Maryland State champion and uh, she's had tremendous success for us and have so much admiration for her because last year she went in the spring, she missed our first tournament and she went through a, a, a pretty significant swing change and worked hard all spring and um, you know led the conference championship after two days um, at the end of the spring. Uh, so much respect for her for doing that and that's why she's going to be one of the leaders of the team this year is that uh, she will do whatever it takes to uh, to, to make herself successful. They, they've been in now the lineup, you know, each one of them have, but and again, haven't shown the consistency to be there all the time. So it's their time to step up and, you know, if they want to assume leadership roles in a team, they can, but it's their time to step up, make their play more consistent, and take their spot in the lineup. Betsy Birchall again is going to be one of our leaders. Um, you know, flat out one of the best female uh, go uh, players that I've worked with based on her demeanor on the golf course. You know, it's, nothing seems to bother her. She lets bad holes kind of slide away uh, and never upsets her that much. And so, uh, just love her demeanor on the golf course as far as handling adversity. Katie Hutcherson, and you know she has had two of the roughest, you know, years starting out because she's had a, a, a knee issue, meniscus issue, uh, varying diagnosis, a couple surgeries, but uh, hopefully, uh, I th believe she's 100% healthy this year. Trem tremendous ability, tremendous talent, uh, tremendous potential. Hopefully, she's gotten past her injury issues and that she, you know, she can be a, a force this year as far as playing in the line up and, and then competing for us. The, the women's schedule is five tournaments in the fall, five tournaments in the spring. Um, you know, they, we start out at Towson in mid-September. Um, that is a tournament that is, is going to be special for Caroline Sweet. It's in her backyard. It's one of the reasons we're going. But it's also, you know, if we're on our game, it's a chance of a tournament we have to you know, we can compete to win or, or place very high. And then we go to a, a tournament that's, uh, you know, we've had a lot of success at in the past. Uh, the first weekend in October, the, the Nittany Lion Invitational, where we won it three years ago. We always seem to play well at that golf course. And then we face a couple difficult tournaments where the, the, we have some nationally ranked teams and fields at East Carolina um, and at the Kiowa Island Invitational. And in between there, we, we host our own tournament in Richmond.
um, at the at the Hollows Golf Course just outside Richmond. So uh, a challenging uh, schedule. Some tournaments in there where we can do really well, um, and hopefully some tournaments where if we, if we are doing well, we can beat some nationally ranked teams.